Now at five, a drug bust. Police think 20 people are responsible for operating a major drug trafficking organization here in the Fort Wayne area. Good evening. For the past couple of years, several law enforcement agencies have been investigating a big drug ring. Police have arrested 18 people, and they say two are still on the loose. News Channel 15's Megan Royce has uncovered the latest, and she joins us now live from the federal courthouse downtown. Megan? Mark and Heather, um, police have raided seven different locations looking for evidence. Earlier today in the federal courthouse right behind me here, the U.S. Attorney General says that um, one arrest that happened in Angola ultimately led them to this major drug trafficking organization. One arrest and seven wiretaps later, police found these people. A group police believe was distributing cocaine and methamphetamine in northeast Indiana. This was a classic investigation where law enforcement slowly worked its way into and up the chain of this drug trafficking organization. Police say Armando Gonzalez Gutierrez and his brother Manuel Herrera started it. Armando still on the loose. Agent the U.S. Attorney's Office, Office believes he's somewhere in Mexico. We will be working with our Mexican counterparts for his apprehension and return. According to court documents, the group would have cocaine shipped from Mexico to Chicago. From there, they would bring it to Fort Wayne, cut it down, package, and distribute it. Back in late March, a taco shop in LaGrange was raided. Police found cocaine in a cake and say it's somehow related to this investigation. These arrests have removed a major drug trafficking organization from the streets of Fort Wayne. The U.S. Attorney's ATF Office has a message for others buying and selling illegal drugs. We may not get you tomorrow. We may not get you next month. And quite frankly, we may not get you next year. But I guarantee you it is going to happen, and when it does, I guarantee you that you will feel the full weight of the federal prosecution.